Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I've been working on the Kasei rocket in 1.12, making sure that it works with a launch script and getting it ready for future missions. And for those who don't know about it, this is my own version of uh, an improved Ares 5, I guess. It has hydrogen oxygen engines that are somewhat better than Ares 5. Uh, the RS-68s couldn't cluster together and were gas generator engines. These are supposed to be staged combustion engines and they can cluster together and they're a little bit more efficient overall, especially in terms of thrust to weight ratio, though not insanely so. 4,000 kilonewtons on 5.6 tons is not crazy or anything. Uh, but yes, we have five of those engines at the bottom and the upper stage has a vacuum version of that engine. So it's a very simple sort of thing. It doesn't have a different engine on the upper stage. And so it's pretty good at low Earth orbit stuff. But I always wanted to turn it into a recoverable stage. And I initially thought about putting extending wings on it, which is good. But of course, there's one obstacle, and that's that we have an upper stage on it. And the upper stage is the same diameter, which is the same diameter as SLS, by the way. It's 8.4 meters. and. Uh, the upper stage being the same diameter causes a bit of a problem because we have to sort of close up the top of the first stage in order to bring it down because I was thinking of bringing it down as a flyback booster or a fly forward booster just like the Orion carrier plane. And so I have devised, I mean, it, I had a different solution to this before, but I have devised a different solution that I initially had. And the solution wouldn't be one that I would necessarily suggest for real life. Uh, it is a solution that is more Kerbal, I feel. And the solution is this. A uh, special retractable fairing, and basically it goes like... It goes like that. And then it stops right here, the stage ejects, and then once the stage is off, let's route to the first stage for a sec. Well, I, don't, I didn't need to rotate, but alright. Uh, so the stage goes off and then the fairings close up. So we get the fairings back and it's a little bit complicated like this, but it's an idea. I, I, I don't think it's something that anybody's going to actually do, but it's an idea <laughs> and so I decided to go with it. And it has its own complications. For instance, I'm not sure why, but uh, when I try to actually use the fairings in flight, it goes it snaps to the deploy limit which is like right here it seems to like to just go immediately to this without doing the animation which I don't understand so anyway well that solves the nose problem so therefore we need to have the aerodynamic surfaces down here so it can be a fly forward booster like the Orion carrier plane and to that end I have made this so this is the Kasei rocket with its uh, methane oxygen boosters and it's using actually the same wings as the Orion carrier plane. Hopefully that'll be good luck or something. Uh, it does have canards as well, and that's just for better pitch control. And then we have the fairing and the upper stage up there. And so it's a tall, ungainly rocket, and hopefully I don't have to make the fairings any bigger for the payloads this launches, because I'd have to make a completely new model for the fairing, and anyway. But yeah, there are complications, but let's see how it works out, shall we? Okay, we are launching out of my Tampico launch site, and we're using the Orion Carrier Plane's pad, though I've extended a tower so it actually reaches higher than the Kasei rocket. It normally does not. Uh, it doesn't have that many tiers, but right now it does. And we will use the KOS script, because that's what I intend to do with this. Uh, and first we'll follow the payload to orbit. The payload capacity is 140 tons with all this stuff on which is pretty good. Without the stuff on, it's 150 tons. I'm hoping it's 140 tons, we'll see. Okay, off it goes. The wet mass of the first stage is not too different from the Orion carrier plane, but the Orion carrier plane is physically somewhat smaller because it's methane and oxygen, not hydrologs. So there it goes, in all of its glory. Alright, looking good so far. And I'll bring the UI up again. Okay, getting ready for booster up here. 
off they go. Ooh, uh, well, maybe that looked closer to the vertical stabilizer than it was. Hopefully it wasn't that close. Now for the Orion carrier plane to get back to where it's supposed to land, it uh, needs the orbital velocity to be 4,000 meters per second. So right now we're leaving. See, the fairings sort of automatically go snap to this position. I wonder if somebody can tell me how to stop it from doing that. Oh, well that's a bit of a problem. Uh, we should probably also have separatrons on the first stage, come to think of it. Alright, let's try that again. Now with separatrons. I put trajectories in here, I, uh, so that actually adds some lag during certain events as trajectories calculates their, well, trajectory. So keep that in mind. I might want to get rid of that. I'm just checking the heading to make sure we're at the right heading for our recovery in the Bahamas. And off go the boosters. Well, seems to be alright. Since we're flying forward, we really don't need to reserve any propellant. It's just RCS propellant that we need, and the residuals of the oxygen plus a little bit of methane that we're carrying inside the inner stage are what we are using for the RCS, and that should be enough. All right, this time we're free. That's a little bit better. We'll follow the first stage next time. Let's just make sure that our payload gets to orbit here. Let's see, is it likely? Well, it's not reading the right delta V, so... <laughs> That's because uh, this is root part instead of up there, so... It's not gonna be right. Okay, as we pass by Florida there... We have made orbit with our 140 tons, and we have... Let's see. Wow, plenty of delta. Well, okay, it's not telling me the truth about the delta V. We have some delta V to spare, but not that much. Obviously, our drive mass is not 31 tons. It's this 140 tons plus that. But again, uh, the root is this part, so it's confused. But still, we made it. And let us see if the first stage. Well, the first stage is probably not going to be recoverable. We'll see how badly it does, and then I'll have to make adjustments. And maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. The Bahamas. And it's right there. Our runway is somewhere on there, hopefully. And we'll find out. Uh, There's a new install, so I'm not too sure all the scenery and runways are in the right place, but we'll find out. Okay, no changes to the script. I'll be controlling the first stage on the way down with Smart ASS. And we're basically gliding down, so we're not intending to use any engine power that we won't be able to. It can only glide at this point, and we'll see how that does. Hopefully using the Orion carrier plane wings will be lucky or something? Who knows. We are not getting any body lift from it, that's for sure. The Ryan carrier plane does sort of get body lift, I think. Okay, off go the boosters. Without the boosters, but also without the recovery stuff, the core can launch. And it gets about 95 tons to orbit, so... Maybe 85 tons to orbit in that case? Not sure. Darn it, you're supposed to do the animation. <laughs> Why do you automatically go out like that? Anyway, it goes off. Alright, so then we go over here, increase the deploy limit so that it closes. And also we have to enable crossfeed here so the RCS can work properly because the RCS... Okay, but we want to cut the throttle there. Alright, so... Now, roll zero, pitch 30. That's what the Orion carry plane does. It's actually going to have to flip around like this. 
No idea if it can survive this. We're slower than the Orion carrier plane goes normally, but we're also somewhat higher up. Right now our trajectory looks like that, and there's the runway that we're aiming for. Okay, coming down with Florida in sight. Still not in the atmosphere yet, though. RCS consumption is good. And now we are in the atmosphere. So, how long until we explode? <laughs> uh, we're not going orbital speeds or anything, right? This is half the velocity we'd be coming in at from orbit, a fraction of the heating. The g-forces though are going to be formidable. It's pitching down a lot. Oh, uh, got some overheating. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, well we're going to have to maybe protect the... Well, this part is working just fine. Um, we're going to have to protect the body of our first stage a little bit better than that. So, yeah. The heating situation was not good enough. But yes, uh, this has been more of a discussion of this particular idea. Although we can't control it right now. Um, which is an interesting idea, I hope you'll agree. Uh, though probably not practical in real life. Well, it's getting real interesting right now, isn't it? Anyway, with this flipping out ever faster in the midst of Kerbal physics, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.